Hey friends, it's Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. All right. Have you ever been around somebody that seemed to complain about everything? Maybe you've gone out to eat with friends in a restaurant and your friend complained about everything the kitchen sent out. The food was too dry. The meat was undercooked. The sauce tasted funny. The crust of the bread was too crunchy. The water was too wet. And no matter what the kitchen sent out to your friend, your friend simply couldn't be satisfied and simply complained and complained. The Israelites were a lot like that. God set them free from the cruelty of Egypt and it did not take them long to develop a history of complaining and moaning and groaning about Moses and Aaron and complaining against God. When they traveled, they were immediately almost complaining about their leadership. Listen to what they said in Exodus 16 verse 3. They said, if only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt. There we sat around with pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now God has brought us into this wilderness to starve us all to death. Doesn't that sound like they had a major problem with complaining? The Israelites had been oppressed. They had been slaves in Egypt. They were beaten. They were forced into labor. They were considered the lowest of the low human beings. And now they were free. There was nobody standing over them to tell them what to do and how to think and where to go and how to live. Men were free. Women were free. Their children were going to grow up without the cruel treatment of the Egyptian rulers. So how did the Israelites respond? They wished they'd been killed in Egypt. I mean, come on, give me a break. I think about their example and I think about my relationship with God and I think about us as a pastor. You know what? Sometimes you and I do the same thing. Complaining is the opposite of what a faith-based life with Jesus should look like. And think about it. When we complain, we're not trusting that God really cares for us, that God really loves us, that God really walks with us. When we complain, we're essentially saying that God has not done enough for you and for me. But faith, living by faith, that means we're convinced that the best is yet to come. Complaint focuses on what's wrong in the present. It focuses, it focuses on a, an unreal and imaginary past. Did the Israelites really believe that they would be better off dead? Did they really miss living in Egypt under Egyptian rule? There's no way. But they couldn't control their mouths and they complained. You and I as followers of Jesus need to really Walk by faith, not by sight. When we walk by sight, we're going to complain. We need to live with the faith that even when life is difficult, even when life is hard, even when we don't get what we want, the best is yet to come. See, we are the only people on God's green earth who can actually live with genuine hope. We know that there is a God who loves us. We know that there is a God who cares for us, that provides for us. And we know that one day we will be with God forever in heaven. We believe by faith that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. So as followers of Jesus, since we know those things, let's watch what we say. Let's make sure we don't live a life filled with complaining and moaning and groaning. Let's be a people filled with hope rather than living like an unsatisfied customer at a restaurant. 
If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, apply it, or leave a comment. God bless.